Am I the asshole for not letting my brother hide behind the dead wife card anymore? My brother's lost his wife a year ago. They have three girls, 12, 5 and 3. My brother was definitely one of those husbands who worked, came home, played with the kids. But that was it. His wife ran the show chores, raising the kids, making sure they went to school and activities, all the cooking, etc. All on top of her own full-time job. She died quite unexpectedly and to say he was lost is an understatement. So, I stepped in to help. Some may call it enabling. But it was that or my nieces would suffer. They do their part around the house what's appropriate for their ages. Obviously, I've been trying to teach my brother to do the rest I understand he just suffered a massive loss. And a lot of his inability to learn. I put on grief. But as we close in on 14 months since her passing, he definitely has just used me to replace his wife in all ways domestic. I've tried talking to him about it before and he'd pull the my wife just died card. Again. On me that I let it slide. My final straw was when I went on a work trip. Came back to chaos. The house was cleaned. Because the girls did more than their fair share. Obviously they should have chores but by his own admission. He did nothing despite having the time to. Oldest told me she was the one making sure the little ones went to school daycare. She's done all the cooking. She had to give up an end of the year dance because my brother asked her to watch the girls so he. Could go out with friends. I had a come to Jesus meeting and told him he needs to get his shit together. I'm doing one more tutorial day and that's it. He needs to either hire a housekeeper or nanny he can afford both if he's not interested in doing. His share of the chores or taking the kids anywhere. He needs to get a calendar to remind himself when stuff needs to get done. I said it was this or the girls come stay with me until he gets his act together. He started on the whole I. She isn't your child. Sounds like he was using you as a babysitter substitute parent. He then tried to guilt you into going back on your statement. Not the asshole. Why WBTA if you don't talk to Ava about this yourself? She doesn't know that you only started paying attention to her because you had a crush on her dad. And will just see it as a parental figure abandoning her. This will be traumatic for her if not handled correctly. I'm confused if you care for Ava or not. The way you write makes it seem like it's mostly been a chore having a relationship with her. When she obviously loves you like an aunt. If you can't give her as much attention. Then you should definitely tell her that yourself in a kind way. Let her know you still care for her and send her cards or something. And can't you FaceTime her too? Max has to accept that your time will be limited when you have a new baby in your home and that. Family dynamics shift. But I would be upset if my daughter lost someone important in her life too. Not the asshole. But I'd be sure to take some time to explain to Ava that you're having a baby and that means you. Won't be spending as much time in person together and offer to FaceTime or do something else to stay connected. It's important that you prioritize your family. But Ava should also be supported through this change and cutting her out of your life completely. Would be a big scary change for her with no context. Matt is definitely the asshole though for trying to get free childcare from you because you had a crush on him. Esh. You made a promise because of your attraction to her parent. That is not something you should have done lightly. A child having adults disappear out of their life or greatly reducing contact leaves a kid with abandonment issues. You are allowed to focus on your family. But that six-year-old will be hurt by your actions. 
Can you FaceTime her so she does not feel completely abandoned and replaced by your child? Boy. She is going to hurt a lot over that. Not the asshole. If you're doing someone a favor, you're not an R for no longer being able or willing to do the favor. He has been inconvenienced. Not wronged. And the inconvenience is his own. Not yours. Not the asshole Max is taking advantage of you. If he is so interested in your relationship with Ava he can visit with her and do his own parenting. Esh. First Max for expecting OP to continue to help. But I suspect he's more upset with OP abandoning Ava emotionally and leaving him to clean up after. He still sucks for helping create this situation. Op you created this situation. You made yourself a fixture in this child's life. You are the one emotionally abandoning them. They are six. Will they get over or past it? Maybe will they have trouble forming trust in new people due to feelings of abandonment? Probably. You're the asshole for getting involved with this girl's life because you had a little crush on her dad. Your NTA for focusing on your baby. But you are abandoning the relationship you had with her. You're the asshole based off your post you can't just abandon Ava. You made the choice of being heavily involved. At least attempt video calls. It seems more like you're right-sizing your time spent with Max and Ava to be a more appropriate fit with your actual relationship with them. Relationships change over time. It should be no surprise to Max that you're living your own life and that involves a significant other and children of your own. Did Max think you'd always hang around as a sort of surrogate mom for Ava? Not the asshole. Esh. Did everyone miss out where she basically agreed to help out and be involved in Ava's life because she had a crush on Max and is now dipping out because now she has a fiancé and is pregnant. She is absolutely allowed to change her mind. But that also doesn't mean it doesn't absolutely suck for this little girl to be abandoned not only by her mom but now by Op. Op if you ever really cared for Ava. Let Ava know you still care. And that work and new baby are adult things that are taking time away but doesn't mean you care any. Less. Esh. You suck because you started this bonding with Ava as a way to try and get involved romantically. With Max. Which now has lead you in this situation. Max sucks because he treating you like a built-in babysitter. Which I am assuming he used to you always being there whenever he needed you. You need to sit down and let Max know that you still want to be in Ava's life but with your high risk pregnancy and then the arrival of the baby you are going to have to scale back on the amount of time you see her. Then talk with Ava. Esh. Max needs to be a grown up and raise his kid himself. And you need to be one too. You're about to have a baby. You need to be able to manage your relationship with a six-year-old. Call Ava yourself. Explain you can't visit as much because you're pregnant and don't feel good. Set up expectations of when you can will visit. Even if it's once a month instead of twice a week. Or whatever. I mean yeah you're the asshole to Ava for even trying to be something in her life in the first place. You did it because you were interested in her dad. And when he didn't want to date you or it didn't work out whichever reason it was. Would then make you an asshole to any other guy you dated in the future. Because what guy want a girl who is helping raise another kid with another guy and that kid isn't. Even hers. I had a crush and decided that the way to Max's heart was through his daughter. It didn't work so I moved on and am now ditching a child who loves me because she was only an ends. To a means for me. I don't care how it hurts her. I'm just going to go LC without explaining it to her. You're the asshole.